Gabriel Jones, and I am going to tell you a little bit about Mongolia. It is a very interesting place to study. Mongolian's flag. Mongolia's flag. The Mongolian flag is very pretty. It's the colors of the flag are red, yellow, and blue. The symbols stand for fire, sun, species of mammals in Mongolia. Three of the most curious are the long-eared giraffe, which is my favorite, the Bactrian cam camel, and the Mongolian wild horse. Long-eared giraffe is a kind of a mouse. It looks like a kangaroo rat, rat with rabbit ears and a chinchilla body and a pig snout. It's plants, leaves, and roots. It also has big furrows. Almost like a <coughs> The long back tree camels have two palms on it, but they're only there are only one thousand back tree camels left in Mongolia. The world in Mongolia. These camels eat plants and grass. The last nearest Mongolian wild horse. These horses look like zebras with short manes and stocky bodies. They eat plants, leaves, and grasses. Angus Kong used these horses for his own. He put metal pieces on the saddle so his warriors would be more aggressive. It also made him sit, sit up, made him stand up instead of sitting down. small house that the Mongolians live in. It can be taken down and packed and transported to a new place. It looks like it looks like a big birthday present. It's round and has a stick through the middle. It looks like a it only ha, it only has one room inside. Everyone in the family lives in that one room. It's kinda like when you, a tent when you go camping. It does not have a win window, it's just a front door. The reason the, the girl needs to be quite like this is because the Mongolians travel around a log to feed their animals. In the middle, is a stove that burns horse camel and yak dung. The stove is used to cook and keep everyone warm. By the night, you're, you're getting
gets so cold that your field still turns into ice cubes. Girls have no bathrooms. Everyone just goes outside. There is no outhouse, just nice cold air. Holidays. Mongolians like to celebrate, celebrate the whole year. They even have parties for a baby's first haircut. Some of the holidays they celebrate are Christmas. They have pretty lights, Christmas trees, and they wait for Father Christmas, almost like we wait for Santa Claus, or another one, Old St. Nicholas. The Oboe Shrine Festival. They have wrestling, horse racing, and archery competitions. Children's Day happens in summer on June 1st. The children get lots of presents, almost like everybody's birthday, except in the Raise your hand if you have a birthday in the summer. Oh, oh. You'll have to Oh, yeah. Okay. That's almost like Children's Day. Mm. It said these just celebrate a birthday. They call it a birthday, they call it Children's Day. Food. Mongolians have very different. Mongolians in, in Mongolia, they make you different food from. Did they very different from what we eat here. One of the foods they eat a lot is horse's milk. I don't want to milk a cow, by the way. A horse. <laughs> they, one of the foods they eat a lot is horse's milk. So <coughs> they milk a horse like we milk a cow. They Then they take it inside and cook it. It tastes kind of like a bubbly, warm yogurt. They also eat horse, sheep, and yak meat, boiled in the milk. Yak! A thing I do like is Mongolian grill, where they cut meat very thin and put in on the stove with, in the wok. With spices, noodles, and a few bits of now, that tastes good. And you know what, guys? I hope you liked my report on Mongolia. It is cool that place that I would like to visit someday. I also hope you will, I hope you like my little snack that I am going to make for you. It's a Mongolian grill, it is Mongolian grill and rice. Okay guys.
Oh, great. Okay. <laughs>